So I often get set challenges, and the way that this thing came up was somebody challenged me to be able to copper plate stainless steel. Then somebody else said to me, hey, I want to challenge you to solder something onto stainless steel because it's a nightmare to try and do it. And I thought, well, I'll tell you what, we're putting a fairly well-adhered copper plate onto the stainless steel using our, our special coppering gel along with ferric chloride. How about we copper some stainless steel up and then just try soldering to that copper pad? So that's what I'm going to do. And as a demonstration, I'm going to use a stainless steel spoon. So the first stage in that is obviously to copper it. So we're going to copper it using our coppering gel along with our ferric chloride gel. And if you remember from the previous video, all we actually do is mix these up in a ratio of roughly 50-50. About 50% of that, 50% of that. Mix them up so it goes this nice green colour. Now, we haven't tried leaving this to see if it has any stability when it's already mixed. We've left the two gels separate and then we mix them up when we want to use them. I've obviously made quite a lot here because my intention is to put it into a pot and see what kind of stability we've got when it's mixed. But we do know that when we do it like that and apply it to stainless steel, then we can copper up the stainless steel. We get a bit of cloth, take a bit of the gel and apply it to the area that you want to copper. Now it's kind of a mechanochemical system. So we are going to um, effectively rub that surface quite hard with a piece of wire wool. And that's what I'm going to do now. So when you're giving it a rub over, you'll get a nice copper um, covering on the stainless steel. And that's what we're going to solder to. Give that a clean, and you can see we've now got copper on the stainless steel. So now we've put our copper plate onto the stainless steel, we're going to solder onto the copper plate, obviously. The easiest way to do this is to tin both surfaces and then solder them once you've tinned them. Tinning the wire is dead easy. Ready for it to heat up and wait for it to draw the solder in. And there you go, there's your wire all tinned up and ready. The reason it's so easy is because it's a small thermal mass. You're not having to heat an awful lot of things. Now, the problem with this thing is that spoon's pretty big. So if I try to solder that using a soldering iron, I'm going to fail. I'm going to have to turn the blowtorch on it. Um, you don't want to turn the blowtorch onto this surface because that copper coating is immensely thin. It'll take you seconds if you turn the blowtorch on there to burn that copper off. So what you need to do is heat it at some distance away where you're not going to interfere with that pad or heat it from underneath and get rid of the solder while you're heating it from a distance away from the pad that you want to do. Now obviously we want this to adhere quite nicely. So we've got our homemade flux here that we made in a previous video. Just apply a little bit of your homemade flux to the surface. Then when you've applied a bit, just keep the heat on and put your wire on. Okay, so there it is, all finished. We have soldered a wire onto a spoon. I cannot think of any use for that whatsoever. Not for a wire on a spoon. I suppose we could light something up to show it, but soldering onto stainless steel, I'm told, is next to impossible. And there it is soldered on. Now, let's give it a little tug. That's pretty strong, actually. So that's a fairly good adhesion. <laughs> Bloody hell. Fairly good adhesion we've got there, and that's courtesy of the copper plate underneath. So it tells us that the copper is adhering to the stainless steel pretty tightly, and so we've been able to solder onto it. I'm going to try and break this joint.
sorry. <laughs> anyway, I hope that was of interest to you, and thank you very much for watching. <laughs>